Mosquitoes, tiny creatures with a huge impact. Mosquitoes are responsible for transmitting diseases such as dengue fever, chikungunya, and Zika. They also transmit one of the most deadly diseases of them all, malaria. Malaria has been the scourge of humanity for too long. But great progress has been made over the last century in reducing the burden of this terrible disease. Yet, as recently as 2019, there were still 229 million cases of malaria globally. Why is this? And what can we do about it? How can we stay ahead of the game in the fight against malaria? To find answers, we need to explore malaria vector control from different perspectives. In this course, we will investigate insecticide resistance. Insecticide resistance is a long-standing and increasing problem for insect pest control in both agriculture and public health. Insecticide-treated bed nets and indoor residual spraying are highly effective approaches to prevent malaria transmission. If resistance isn't expertly managed, the existing tools will lose their effectiveness leaving at-risk populations vulnerable to malaria. We will discuss the history of malaria vector control. The WHO set up the Global Malaria Eradication Program in 1955. The ensuing years saw the development of new insecticides, the organophosphates in the 1950s, the carbonates in the 1960s, and the pyrethroids in the 1970s. We will explore the theory and practice of insecticide resistance management. Mosquitoes feed on it depending to illustrate on the in the field strategies and the benefits of fighting insecticide resistance, we will explore case studies in Ghana, Tanzania, Zambia, and Sri Lanka. My name is Tezia Malm. And I am Fred Rosbokumu. We would like you to come on a journey with us. Join experts from around the world to look more closely at the threat of insecticide resistance, what is causing it, and what can be done to keep us on track towards our ultimate goal of eliminating malaria.